first started this show, I knew there was one game I wanted to come to, and that was this game. Sparta, Roxbury, here at Roxbury High School. It's going to be a good one. I'm Ryan Sudol, and welcome to the fourth episode of Football Fanatics. I am crammed in here. It is very loud. You guys got some heads here. Who, whose heads are you all holding? Uh, this is lineman Dave Bianc. Uh, this is Mike Caggiano, number one. And this is Matt Miola, 52. They've scored 40 points at least in every single one of their games this year. But do you think that you guys have enough home field advantage to take over that tonight? Yes. Yes. 100%. 100%. First time I've come over here to the Sparta student section tonight, and they are already up to a seven nothing lead, and they are pretty excited. You guys got an America theme going on tonight. Yes, that's right. right. Do you believe that the American spirit will woo you guys to a six to zero start? That's, that's why we're winning. Yeah. That is why we're winning right now. This is the greatest country in the world. We are here with a Roxbury alumni who graduated last year, and your name is Nasir Robinson. And you played for them. What position did you play? I played uh, offensive guard and defensive tackle. Why would you compare this team to the team that you left last year? Uh, a lot. There's a lot less seniors. There's only two returning okay, seniors uh, last year. Uh, we had a lot of uh, stars who played from sophomore year last four, year. It's third and but six. They 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 like football a lot. You know they want it, and so they're they're hungry. So you guys have scored 40 or more points in every single game this year. Do you believe that you're on track to do that again tonight? I do, and I think we'll uh, we'll be at MetLife pretty soon. What's your score prediction as a whole for tonight? For this game? Yeah. 49, 30-something. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say zero. No. <laughs> no, no. They're a decent team, but we got it. Okay, so I'm here with the drum majors of the Roxbury Marching Band, and their names are... Jessica Roberts. And Garrett Dexter. Uh, how does it feel to come out here every Friday night and be a part of what is said by many to be one of the better bands in the county? Um, it's definitely a little bit surreal when you're out there and you're just performing and you have all these people cheering for you and it's just creating something that everybody enjoys. Sort of carrying on the Roxbury tradition. You know, great big marching band that everyone supports. I've honestly never seen a crowd respond to a marching band as much as the crowd responded to you guys tonight. I'm here with the Sparta High School cheerleader! <laughs> How does it feel to be here tonight and to cheer in front of this awesome crowd and just to be here in the atmosphere? I think it's really fun because our whole school came and they're really pumping up the crowd. It feels great because I feel like we're helping the community and just cheering on the boys and it's just a good feeling. The game is not going your guys' way right now, it's but not. that's obviously... We still have hope! We still have hope! That doesn't matter to us because what Roxbury is about is the community, the hope. We're all fighting together. We're standing with our players no matter what happens out on that field. Our sense of community can come back and win this game! We're here with a couple, I would imagine, very, very happy Sparta students because Absolutely. you guys are 35 currently... Nothing. Yeah, 35, 35 nothing. nothing. At the half. Absolutely. How much pride do you have in going to Sparta? Let me explain. Sparta has too much pride. Look at our fan section. We still need more students. This isn't good enough. This isn't good enough. Can you get more students? No. Can you fit any more? The thing will explode. Doesn't matter. We need more students. We're here at the Roxbury Snack Shack. What is it like working at the Snack Shack every Friday night here? What do you, what do you think? Well, it's a lot of fun. Great people. A lot of people working very, very hard to raise money for the football program. But we have a great time and all enjoy each other's company. On a scale of 1 to 10, how chaotic does it get at halftime? Uh, about a 15 and a half. <laughs> okay. I'm here with Jason Giratano's mom, number 61. He's my last child playing football. This is my last high school football, and uh, it's awesome. I'm going to miss it. We got one more year, though. One more year, but then, yeah, but I'm going to miss it. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere. All of a sudden, a Spartan walks up randomly, and then all of a sudden, a Gale walks up randomly. 
Who wins the actual fight and why? Sparta! Oh, Sparta! 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 Sword! Yeah! They also have swords. Granted. We're better than we have shields! Sparta. They also have shields! Never heard of this is Sparta! Of course, a gale. How could you ever, like, you can't beat a gale. It's impossible. What does a gale have that a Spartan doesn't have? Muscles! Agreed! The big question of the night. What makes your student section better than their student section? What's the reason? Because we are louder! Let's go! Yeah! Hey, so you wanted to give someone a shout out? Uh, Alex Milliken, known as RB1. He has, uh, like four or five touchdowns. I don't even know. Also, but I got he's winning the game. Richie McDonald, running back, kids putting in work. It's also Richie's birthday. Happy birthday, Richie. What makes your student section better than Why theirs? Why do we have the best student section? This is and that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. Sparta decimates Foxbury, 42 to nothing. What an episode it was. Two great fan sections. And next week, Sparta's going to return. This time, they're at home against West Morris. We'll see you then. I'm Ryan Sudol, and this has been Football Fanatics.